website down below and welcome to my channel and I'm pretty new I'm still pretty new to YouTube subscribe and join me on my YouTube journey so today I'm going to be talking about a very well-known manga around the world called Ranma one half and it is and it is by Rumiko Takahashi um, if you don't recognize um, the name Rumiko Takahashi she is the one who created Yuresi Yatsura, uh, Inuyasha, Rin, My Son Ikaku, and a couple other titles that people have either read or seen. Now, Rama One Half was an early one of her earlier works. It was created in August of 1987 um, till March 1996, where it was published in the Weekly Shonen Jump. It was then created into 38 volumes, or now they have those big volumes where it's two volumes per one book. So you can either try to find the old manga, or you can get the big manga volumes, whichever one works. And then after it was created into a manga, it, it was created into an anime. It did air between October 20th, 1989 till September 25th, 1992. And in America, Viz Media actually licensed Rama One Half, um, and it was deemed one of the very first anime licensed by Viz. So, fun fact. Along with the anime, there are also 11 OVAs, two movies, a couple of live action movies, a list of video games, and a ton of merch which I don't know if you can see. I got this cute little keychain from a local anime shop. It's Genma. So for those of you who don't know um, what Rama One Half is about, I will just read a short synopsis. Um, teenage martial artist Rama Satome went on a training mission with his father one day um, at a legendary training ground in China. The two had a little accident and fell into some cursed springs and triggered a transformation. Now every time Rama is splashed with cold water, he changes into a girl. His father Genma, when splashed, changes into a panda. And this does complicate their lives. And so years ago, Genma promised his old friend Tendo that Rama would marry one of soon one of Tendo's three daughters and carry on the family's martial arts school. Except that the girl picked Prick to be Rama's bride doesn't seem to like him. Rama keeps getting into fights, and, and he changed into a girl. And there's lots of wacky adventures, and there are tons of characters throughout the storyline. Now, if you're like me, you probably, you might have found out about Rama One Half because you owned a Pokemon VHS that had the preview to the Rama One Half movie, the first movie, Nick, uh, Little Trouble in Nekoran, China. And if you watched that, you probably got a little bit interested. And I was interested too, but I wasn't sure where to find Rama. At that point, I was like maybe six, seven years old. So I had no clue how to go find it. It wasn't until later on, until I was 20, maybe. I think it was probably 20 when I first started watching Rama one half. I was so excited when I found it, but was so disappointed to find out that it never finished with the manga. And I, it cringes me to when that happens because you always want to see your book come to life. And when it 
doesn't finish, then it's like kind of a disappointment and then you just wonder for years if they're ever gonna finish it because the last arc is usually a pretty good arc. So the Ranma anime does span for 22 volumes, so that leaves so that does leave 16 volumes of the story not shown on the anime. That's a little disappointing. And then on top of that, there are quite a few differences between the manga and the anime. The anime does leave out some key characters or th some key and minor characters such as Akari, which is Ryoga's girlfriend, Konatsu, who is a man who was raised as a woman and she's a ninja, and then some key villains that come out towards more towards the middle and end of the manga as well that we don't get to see in the anime. And then there's some points in the anime where some things happen first, whereas in the manga some stuff happens later, and so we don't really get to... There just seems like a point in the anime where it stops really progressing and just starts getting a little bit repetitive. The storyline gets repetitive, the stories get repetitive, the comedy gets repetitive, and it just, um, you just kind of start watching it just to kind of finish it at some point. The anime does start off really fun. Now we get to see how Ranma deals with his ever-changing sex, because he changes into a female. And so we get to see that dynamic and how kind of the story talks about a lot about um, sexuality and gender, gender and it's really explored by the youth and how Rama and some other characters who are kind of struggling with their sexuality and gender because of this curse, dealing with their feminism and their masculinity at the same time because um, Ranma's love interest, which is Akane, uh, she acts like a tomboy all the time and people um, still enjoy her and want to be around her. So, and she does, she can dress feminine, but she also has that tomboy feel. So she's a good mixture of um, her, she's very intertwined with her masculinity and femininity at the same time. And I think that kind of helps Ranma um, feel okay with turning into a girl eventually throughout the story. And then there's a bunch of characters that we meet throughout that are dealing with their own um, side stories. So this is Shampoo, she was the Cursed Springs and she turns into a cat and then there's Ryoga and he turns into a little pig. So there's lots of dynamic characters. There's lots and lots of characters that Rama would have. There's never a dull moment. So there's all these different small storylines all dealing with the main storyline of Ranma and Akane and them coming together. And actually in the manga they do come more together as a couple. In the anime it doesn't really show that. I mean it doesn't end <laughs> but the anime really doesn't do the relationship justice. And um, Akane in the manga is a little bit more nicer. Yes, she's still tough on Rama. She's kind of a typical of the anime girl tropes where she's mean to the guy she likes. But she also has a nice side, like I was saying, a more feminine side. So it does portray that more in the manga than in the anime, definitely. And there's lots of great arcs. My favorite arc is the very last one just because um, I think it just kind of ties everything together. I seem to, t I tend to gravitate towards the last arcs because um, I just like everything coming together in full circle and seeing how everyone ends up. But after reading the whole thing, it's still my favorite arc and I can read it over and over again and not get bored of it. I can read the whole manga over and over again and not get bored of it. And Rama is, um, the manga and probably the anime is rated T for teens. Um, I do agree with that. Um, they, they can be a little bit perverted and sexual jokes throughout the manga, but it's still a fun read, so I agree with that rating.
The arcs in Rome, one half kind of remind me of, if you ever watch Gintama, there's some arcs where it's funny and laughable, and there's some arcs where it's a little bit more serious. Maybe not as serious as Gintama gets into, but I definitely see how um, maybe the creator of Gintama, Red Rama, kind of got some influence from there. I don't know that for sure, but I definitely see that in Rama. So Rama has its funny moments, but it also has a little bit of serious moments, but they're not gonna lie, there's more funny than serious times. And the characters are really funny. <laughs> My favorite character has to be Kasumi. I think she's just a funny character. She's very well-mannered, well-spoken, but she does have a little feisty side to her. And I just think when that feisty side it's, comes out, it's very unexpected and it's just, it's just hilarious. So I enjoy her character a lot. If you enjoy a manga or an anime where the character, more that manga, where the characters um, have different outfits and not the same one every single day, you might enjoy Ranma. Not that they change every single day, but they do have different outfits and as you progress through the manga, you'll see the different outfits. And even in the anime, you can see Ranma's different outfits and how they change color and change uh, with the seasons. So if you appreciate that when you're reading, I appreciate that. So maybe you out there who appreciate character <laughs> design changes will like that too. There's also mixed cultures that are in Ranma, such as Shampu, she's from China. There's Principal Kuno, who's from Hawaii. So it's kind of cool to see a manga and a writer in general just put all these different, put different cultures and different cities together under one roof. And then like I said earlier, around the one half does really progress in storyline. While it is more comedy and centered, it does, the characters do progress. You do get fulfillment for the continuation and it's not just land the same throughout the whole manga. At least in my opinion, it does progress. It doesn't just stay flat like the anime ends up doing. Overall, I do recommend reading Rama One Half. It is a great manga. I absolutely love reading it. It will lift you up and get you very, interest, very interested in reading it and will keep you entertained throughout your whole read. So I definitely recommend this one. It is an older one, but it's classic and timeless. And if you are a anime or manga lover of any sort, definitely try out Ranma. It's a classic and you'll definitely enjoy it. And I got this from Chicago in a random comic shop in Chicago. It's like a, it kind of, it's kind of like a thin, like an American comic, like a Marvel or a DC comic book. But I found this at the shop, it was only three bucks and it's thin like an American one. Um, I had, I think I had read somewhere that they did this for a few um, chapters. I don't think they finished through with it. I could be wrong. If you know, let me know. And if you're selling any more, this is the only one I bought because I was traveling and I couldn't, they had some more, but I couldn't take everything with me. So if you know anyone who's selling these, let me know. And if you enjoy Rama one half, let me know in the comment section. If you would prefer the anime or the manga, and uh, what your thoughts on the manga was. You can see more content from me on my Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook page, and Twitter page. And if you like my content, please like and subscribe. And until next time, happy reading.